Welcome to another Eventide H90 tips and tricks video. On today's video, I want to dial in a 90s Van Halen inspired preset using the vintage delay algorithm and the micro pitch algorithm. This is a PV Wolfgang with the all important googly eye mod on there. I'm using my Axe FX for the amp and cab tones. Let's just have a listen to what I'm starting with. And then I'm going to bring in the H3000 micro pitch factory preset and then a vintage delay program that I have dialed in and I'll talk about them in just a second. So we'll hear it dry, then with micro pitch, then with the delay. <laughs> The only thing that I've done to that micro pitch factory preset is just lower the mix control to around 34. That's personally where I like it. I think it defaults to 100% on there, probably so people can run it in parallel like the original H3000 does. That sounds massive added to that distorted tone. And then the vintage delay has two delay taps on there. One is 400 milliseconds, the other is 800 milliseconds. You'll note that the feedback on delay A which is half the time of delay B has double the feedback. So that way they kind of fade out together in there. And it's interesting the difference between that and a classic ping pong delay where a ping pong will give you one delay panned left and then the next one panned right. In this case, we'll get our 400 millisecond delay. Then we'll get our 800 millisecond delay at the same time as a quieter repeat of the 400 millisecond delay. The effect is that rather than have a left and then right kind of stereo image. It kind of sounds like it goes left and then not quite 100% right on there. I'll let you hear that. Let's just play a single note. pretty interesting. Of course, you could just use a ping pong delay in here and set the ping pong delay time to 400 milliseconds and you'd be pretty happy. From what I can gather based on reading some stuff online from Eddie's racks and then measuring the new Boss SD3000 EVH delay, uh, that's basically the kind of main delay and all the other times are variations on that. Set delay A to whatever you want and then double it on delay B, scale the feedback accordingly. I've also set the bits to 12 on here to mimic the old Rollins. And then you do have a filter control and modulation on here, which I think sound pretty sweet. I like to turn the filter up to around 50% and then just add in a little bit of modulation. You know, take the mod depth to about five and set the mod speed to around 0 0.7, 0 0.5 hertz. You get this. <laughs> variation on this that I have been enjoying is using the H910, H949 algorithm for the detune. I've got it set to the 9491 type over here. Pitch control is micro, three milliseconds of delay on voice A, 25 on voice B, and then I've set the pitch ratios to nine cents up and down. Let's just have a listen to how that thickens the core tone. <laughs>
happening anyway. I'm getting carried away. And that is probably a good sign that it's time to wrap this video up. Again, being able to run two classic effect algorithms in one program on the H90 is a beautiful thing. And I would highly encourage you to play around with either running these in series like I am at the moment or trying some parallel routing on there. So you can go micro pitch and the delays separately. That same trick applies great with reverb and delay or reverb and micro pitch. And I've got a previous H90 tips and tricks video all about that, which you can check out. Any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, you can support it in a variety of different ways. Just check the video description. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.